Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the mobile transaction models. So, in one of our lectures in database management system, we already discussed about this transaction models, guys. That is nothing but the acid properties we popularly call them. The same acid properties are also available in mobile computing also. Okay. So, acid properties have been redefined to support mobile environment. Okay, so first let us go to the first letter A. That is nothing but atomicity, guys. So in atomicity, we will be doing some small, small changes. Okay, so let us read out what are the changes. So mobile host is allowed to submit pieces of transaction for a, for, from different cells according to the movement. Okay, so what is atomicity, guys? So basically, atomicity is nothing but all or none. So these are the exact terminology which we discussed on the day of DBMS also. Okay, so all or none. So if a, a transaction has been started, it should be completely done or it should not even start, like go back to the previous stage. So this concept is called as atomicity. Okay, so here in mobile computing, we have updated it in, by a small part, guys. So basically, in the change here mobile host is allowed to submit pieces of transaction so if he wants to send some data if it can be made into multiple pieces he can send the data from one place and he can move to some other place and send the second part so first half from one place and second half from the other place only if the data can be divided into parts okay so that concept is called as atomicity Mobile host is allowed to submit pieces of transactions from different cells according to the movement. So basically mobile is nothing but the concept is movement only, right? So when he's moving, how can you transfer the data properly? So that is the reason why if the data is dividable, like the transactions can be divided, you will be dividing them and sending them as per your requirements. So it requires the ability to break a transaction into multiple sub transactions that can be concurrently executed should be followed these breaches. So basically write write conflicts should not be there, write read conflicts should not be there and read write conflicts should also not be there. So basically read read conflicts could be there, that's it, okay? Yes, so if you have two transactions T1 and T2 from slot one or the cell area one, you will be sending that transaction and from area two, you'll be sending this transaction, okay? Yes, so that is the concept of atomicity guys. I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? Yes, so the second thing is nothing but consistency. So basically in normal transactions, consistency is nothing but before and after a particular transaction, the database should be in a proper way, right? Yes, similarly here also. So databases is logically proportionated into clusters based on some attributes. So basically if there is a large area or large database in mobile computing, it might be in terms of your GPRS or anywhere where something is stored in the databases. So if there is a huge database, so data is strictly clustered into some small amount modules guys. Okay, so there is some bounded region between them and these are strictly consistent. So basically you can do some changes inside, but this changes should not affect this. So in that way it is strictly consistent. Okay, yes. So when you combinedly check two or more, there could be some inconsistency. Then it is okay. Got it? Yes. So the next thing is nothing but isolation relaxation. Okay, yes. So isolation. So intermediate results of transactions can be observed by others. Okay, so basically in a normal transaction in DBMS, we want to hide them, right? But here we want to show them guys, that is a major difference here. So we want to show whatever transactions have been going on. Okay, so intermediate results should be shown. Okay, like this message has been sent successfully, send the next message, like this acknowledgements and all those things should be possible. And the last thing is a durability guys. Okay, so durability is nothing but saving something permanently. Okay, so even if your mobile device is doing some modifications assume in that way okay and suddenly your mobile device lost the connection so in that situation whatever changes it has been done on the in on the database if some other device connects to that particular internet or that particular database this these things should be committed first and then the editing should start so this concept is nothing but the durability relaxation guys okay so a disconnected mobile host can only commit a transaction locally if this transaction do not conflict with other transactions executing one executing on same host okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about a mobile file system guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching